This video shows you how to download and install the Salesforce connector, create a Salesforce connection, and select and load data from Salesforce. To start using the ClickSense Salesforce connector, download the setup file from the download site. Log on with a registered customer or partner account and select Support. On the Click Support page, select Customer Downloads and then select the Connector tab. Select Salesforce Connector from the list and download the setup file. Run the setup file and complete the installation. When you open Add Data or the Data Load Editor in ClickSense, the Salesforce connector is available in the list of connectors. Insert your username and password and enter the security token assigned to your account. You are given a security token when you open a Salesforce developer account. If your security token has expired, you can obtain a new token. Log in to your Salesforce account, and in the Personal Information section, you can request that your token be reset. The new token is sent to you via email. Insert the security token you received by email. In the URL field, you can enter an alternative Salesforce.com environment to which to connect. If you do not enter a URL, Salesforce connects you to your account's production environment. You can also set properties that affect the way the data is loaded from your Salesforce.com account. Select the type of interface to use with the connection, Bulk API, SOAP API Query, or SOAP API Query All. Specify the timeout period in seconds for connections that use the SOAP API. Specify the batch size, which is the maximum number of rows written to the data target in one batch. Select Convert SQL Dates to convert dates to Salesforce's SOQL format. Select Convert UTC to Local Time to convert date time values returned by the connector to the local time of the computer on which the connector is running. Change the proxy settings if you do not intend to use the default proxy. The access credentials are verified before the connection is created. You will receive an error message if the connection fails. Once a connection to a Salesforce.com dataset has been established, you can select data and load it into a ClickSense app. Select the tables and fields whose data you want to load. When you have finished, click on Prepare Data to upload the selected data and then load your data into the app. When you open a sheet in your ClickSense app, you can see all the data you've uploaded, and you can now use that data in your analysis. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.